Oklahoma City Thunder. That was the worst defense on the pick and roll I have ever seen. If not the worst in playoffs I've ever watched. That was just terrible. Like, there was no change. Uh, there was no adjustment. Pretty much the same thing happened over and over and over and over. No change on offense. No change on defense. The same thing. Over, over, and over. So, the center Spurs easily. And what I mean by easily, I mean just... Literally just kept punching on the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Oklahoma Oklahoma City Thunder thinking they're gonna win this game. One twenty four to ninety two, it was a pretty much a wash. Uh, for the most part, uh, this game, uh, the San Antonio Spurs have been winning over twenty points. I will leading over twenty points. And it was at one point, I think they were leading by 40. Um, that is the most worst. So let's see what, let me just tell you what happened. Basically, Santry Spurs came up with this simple formula. Pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. The main focus of their offense. That's pretty much it. Other than having um, a Mark Lamarcus Aldridge um, isolation post up, and then you have Kawhi Leonard um, ISO. Other than that, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. I get it that the Santos Spurs are pretty much the best at it, but still, there was no adjustment during halftime. I don't know why. I'm wondering if Billy, the coach of the Oklahoma City Thunder, is actually doing his job because there is no way. There is no way. The Oklahoma City Thunder got played like that. That can't happen. That really cannot happen. So let's look at the stats right now. 16 points from uh, Kevin Durant. Picked up 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 6 out of 15 shooting, 0 out of 2 for the 3-point line. 19 points for Serge Ibaka, 8 out of 15 shooting, 3 out of 6 uh, for the 3-point line, pretty good. Sir, um, Steve Adams, 9 points and 10 rebounds. Let me let me get to this part. S Serge Ibaka, Steve Adams got both got bullied by LaMarcus Aldridge. They got bullied. That's all I'm going to say right now because this LaMarcus just, just owned them. The stat, you have Russell Westbrook on uh, 5 out of 19 shooting, 14 points, 9 assists. Uh, they kept forcing him to shoot the ball because they kept denying him the drive, which is pretty much his main focus. He has stopped being a three-point shooter too. Um, they stopped him from doing what he does best, driving into the paint. Uh, so he could do either a pull-up shot or just a layup. They kept stopping him from doing that. They were just putting him different looks. You had Kawhi Leonard on him. And you have this boy, Kyle, uh, Kyle Anderson. I think he's a rookie. Uh, they both played phenomenal defense. I love Kyle Anderson now. Because he just came out of nowhere with some heavy defense on Russell Westbrook. And Kevin Durant um, got got a block on uh, Russell Westbrook at one point in the second quarter. Beast. Uh, Russell Westbrook did get some steals in. Uh, he he picked his moments to get those steals. But there was no togetherness in this offense. It's pretty much Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, his turn or his turn. Back and forth. Uh, anyone who's open, they just like dish it out when they try to drive drive in. No one able to get um some points in. No one getting a a uh, a setup or for for the player. No 
No Dion Waiters who who put up eleven points. No uh Cantor who is kind of still hurt from last game. Uh no one else, pretty much. So let's look at the Santoy Spurs. Um 25 points from Kawhi Leonard off of 21 minutes. 21 minutes. He put up 20 points in the first half, people. LaMarcus Orish, too. He put up 38 points overall and 6 rebounds. Um, Tim Duncan had 8 points and 2 rebounds. 18 points from uh, Danny Green. And by the way, another point to add. For some reason, in the first half, the Oklahoma City Thunder kept fouling these dudes at the three-point line. Danny Green hit a uh, four-point play in this one. They kept fouling these dudes on the three-point line. They kept fouling Patty Mills. They kept fouling Danny Green. Like, multiple times. Um, Like, wow. Like, you would think they would learn their lesson to not try to foul these guys on the three-point line, and they just kept doing it. It was weird. Very, very weird. Um, a whole bunch of points from the bench. I can't really um, pick out a single person who had a big game. Uh, pretty much everyone had a big game, uh, especially Kyle Anderson. He played the hell out of the ball. He only had made two points, but he, he picked up seven rebounds and two assists, two steals and a block shot on Russell Westbrook. 60% from the field overall, 60% from the three-point range. 43 rebounds and 39 assists. Off of eight turnovers. Eight turnovers they only have. Ten block shots. It's game one. But there is no excuse to come out like that. You know who the San Antonio Spurs are. You know they're the best defensive team in the league right now. There is no way you could come out like that. They literally just punched Oklahoma City Thunder in the mouth and kept doing it. And Oklahoma City Thunder is just swinging, swinging, and missing all the time. And the San Antonio Spurs are just giving them the same old motion. Pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. LaMarcus Ulrich, ISO. Kawhi Leonard, ISO. Pick and roll. Easy um, three-point shooter out there. Easy driving. And they were taking a lot of um, mid shots as well. Tony Parker, LaMarcus Ulrich, a lot. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, a lot from the mid-range. That was just sad, man. So that's it. It's, it's just so disappointing, man. It's like, the Oklahoma City Thunder has the talent to beat this team, for sure. It's just that they don't have the mentality. This is basically it. Talent versus mentality. Uh, San Antonio Spurs have that in their heads to play defense. They know what to do. They know what to uh, do with each other. Um, it's just sad, man. So, tomorrow... We have a whole bunch of games. Um, game 7. Charlotte Hornets versus Miami Heat. So, the wrap-up. Portland Trailblazers versus uh, Golden State Warriors. Game 1. I, I don't get this schedule, man. Uh, Indiana Pacers versus Toronto Raptors. Game 7. So, tomorrow will be the wrap-up of Round 1. And the second game. Of the second round of playoffs. So that's it for me. Um, leave your comments below. What do you think about the stupid performance. That Oklahoma City Thunder has just put up. Because that's just sad. Because they're too good for that. They are just too good for that. This is just not normal.
even for a regular team, to let yourself get blown like that, to do the same uh, same routine over and over, they need to have a group meeting, like tomorrow group meeting, and discuss on how to have a better game plan. They need to change up. They need to adjust. They need to make the ball movement more. Get more people involved. Um, more pick and rolls. Um, instead of Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook. And on defense, play better defense on the pick and roll. They just did the same thing over and over and over. It was just plain and simple. Even the analysts said so. It was the same thing over and over. Uh, leave your comments below, likes, dislikes, whatever. Peace.